Now this is the gray hackle peacock. Gray hackle because it's got the gray hackle feathers for for the front here. It also has a gray hackle feather tail. Sometimes the people use red for the tail. The body is peacock earl. Okay. And uh, this is a wet fly. You notice it's the hackle's not very not very stiff. This is designed to fish under the water. Okay. Okay, I'm going to show you the materials you need to tie a gray hackle peacock a wet fly. Need the hook of course. You need a gray hackle, chicken feather, and then you need peacock earl. Peacock eyes are a fun thing. You know, the peacock spreads its tail and, and then you have these eyes. I ordinarily don't try to fly with these. You can, you maybe could use individual fibers out of a big one. To make a, a, a kind of what we call a quill body, but it has segment segmentation when you wrap it. But peacock earl comes from a peacock feather. It's not the eyed part that you're using, but further down on the feather, you have the earl that's been is stripped off. You can buy it in bulk kind of sew them together like this. You want to be careful. Some of it is thinner than others. Not so fluffy. See this is more this is more fluffy than this. And this is fluffier still. The smaller the fly that the smaller fluff you can do. The bigger the fly the more it's, the, it's nice to have it a little bit bushy. Okay, we're going to try a gray hackle peacock wet fly. This is about a size 4 hook. This is not what I would ordinarily fish with, a size 4 or size 2 or something, but it's, you can see what I'm doing. The procedure is the same if it were a tiny hook. A little bit of sticky wax on there, hard sticky wax. Start the thread. Be sure I cover up the back of the eye there. The back of the eye comes together like this, and and that's a sharp point that that can cut your leader if you're if you're playing a fish. You want to cover that up. Some hooks are joined nicely there, some are not. Just to be on the safe side, you want to cover that up. Alright, we need a gray feather for it. It's called Grizzly Hackle. I'm going to break it so I can use it. Now I'm going to use some of this longer soft stuff for the tail. I just strip some off. Didn't get enough that time. It's a pretty big fly, so you need quite a bit. Place it on top of the hook, hold it in place so it doesn't turn. Arrow case there, and then that's ready now. We we'll get the got the peacock earl. If it's strung, that's what it looks like. Otherwise, you'd take it, you'd rip a bunch of them off of the, of the big stem. So we've got a nice big bunch there. To make this work, I uh, grab it like this and get the small stuff out of it. And cut off, there's another small one there, short one. I'm going to trim this. Wrap, over, wrap all the way over like that. Don't just tie it on at the back, but wrap it all over. That makes a nice smooth body forward. Now, I'm not going to use my hackle pliers because if I do, it, it won't work as well as using my fingers. Just 
let it slip through my fingers. It stays even. Secure it in the front. Now I've left quite a bit there. You can you can take this and set it, maybe make another fly. It doesn't take very much to, to, to make a small fly. A small fly you could probably make with that much. But this is a big fly. Now we've got our feather I've already I broke it off. I'm going to trim it a little bit here to make a nice clean place to tie on. I shouldn't say clean place. I cut it short like that. It leaves a little barbels there. Barbules and, and uh, that keeps the thread from slipping. Now if we were tying a dry fly we'd let the Hackle stick out and we'd use stick for hackle and so forth, but this is a wet fly. So we're going to draw it back just a tiny bit, wrap over the base just a little bit to make it lay back a little bit. That's right, then get forward here, do the whip finish. I'll do that one more time so you can see. Usually use about five turns. This is a big fly. I've got heavy thread. It makes a big head, but but uh, on, a, on a smaller fly, I use a lot smaller, thinner thread. There it is. That's a gray hackle peacock wet fly.